Hi folks, Dave here. Today I have a test for you that's kind of curious and interesting to me, and I thought you might like it as well. The question is, how much power or solar watt hours does it take to cut a piece of metal with a cutoff saw? There's my cutoff saw. It's a small version of the big ones you see on job sites. The other question I have is, really, how small of a battery can you get away with? Here is a Red Odeo 50 amp hour Pro 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. You would not expect that this battery could do severe heavy lifting, that's certainly not its intent. For example, I wouldn't use it as a car starter battery or something like that. Running a metal cutoff saw, is that even possible? Well, let's give it a try and find out. To do this testing, I have a Amp Int V or Amp NVT 1200 watt low frequency pure sine wave inverter, and it's just hooked up to the battery. Here I'm using my DC watt meter, it's just the common type you find in hobby stores all over the place. The metal I'm going to cut is just a piece of aluminum heat sink. It's kind of hard to judge with that profile, but I would say that it's probably equivalent to 40 millimeter eighth inch aluminum bar or something similar. Now, if you don't know already, cutting metal with a saw is a laborious process. It can take a long time. It's not necessarily a fast process. This thing here probably would take three minutes to cut. I'm not really sure. Of course, I'm not going to be aggressive and force the saw. Let the tool do the work, as they say. Okay, so this uh, thing has been running for a while, and as you can see, it's 76 amps peak, and we have about 12.9 uh, volts at the battery terminal because this battery is not full, it's nearly empty. We have 927 watts peak, 0.799 amp hours, and the watt hours is 9.8. However, I know 4.8 watt hours came from just having the inverter powered on. So, about 5 watt hours it took to cut that piece of metal. With a test like this, we can see that the actual watt hours consumed from a battery isn't really a whole lot to run a power tool for a few minutes. Although it may be reaching very high uh, net power output, it isn't doing that for a severely long amount of time. And if you add up the math, the actual power pull from the battery isn't very much. So it's actually the amps that matter the most because the size of the battery is important. And if you're going to need to pull 100, 200 amps for 30 seconds, this battery here, I'm comfortable pulling 50 amps for I don't know, three, four, or five minutes, I don't think that's an issue at all. And maybe 100 amps on this battery would be okay if it was an emergency, but otherwise I wouldn't do it. I also have another video about how many watt hours it takes to cook a piece of food in one of my mini 12 volt ovens. I'll link that video down below in the description, as well as on the end screen. Thanks for watching, folks, and I hope to see you next time. All related videos and playlists are posted in the description. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.